If I was stuck on a deserted island with a laptop and an internet connection, here are the six no-code and AI tools that I would bring with me. In fact, these are the tools that I use every single day to generate more than $30,000 a month for my business. But before I get into them, let's find a little bit of shade here in the studio. Now that's better. Now, before you ask silly questions like, how did you get all this material to your deserted island? Or why is there even Wi-Fi on a deserted island? Let me just remind you the last person who asked that many questions ended up on a deserted island of their own. Okay, I really have to stop with these dad jokes. Now, for each one of these tools, I'm gonna be telling you how I use the tool, why I selected this specific tool, and I'll also be giving you alternatives to this tool so that you can figure out your own perfect stack. Okay, so this first tool, it's a tool that allows you to build websites and web apps without having any technical skills at all. I would consider it the spear that I use to go out and hunt because feeding yourself is probably the most important thing on a deserted island. And so this tool is called Softer. It allows you to build landing pages, websites, and full web apps without writing a single line of code. And because one of the biggest benefits of no code is building quickly, I selected this tool and I use it very often, specifically for landing pages when I need to whip something together that looks really good. Now, if you come to their website, they promise to build custom apps for your business fast. And this builder connects to any database that you'd like to connect to. So if you have data, for example, inside Google Sheets, you would be able to connect that information and represent it on a beautiful user experience on the front end. And the other cool thing they created was an AI app builder. So you can basically just input a prompt and you can create simple business apps leveraging this tool as well. And recently we used software to build Outer View, which is an AI podcast research assistant. Now, one of the downsides of this platform is that you can't build very complex API calls or workflows, but they're shipping so many more features every single day. And so they're basically becoming more and more complex. And if you're looking for an alternative to this tool, I'd have you check out Glide, which is another pretty cool platform, also quite simple to use. But let me remind you that Softer is a front end builder. So the next tool that I'm gonna be giving you is basically the database that I use every single day to do all sorts of things from building out internal processes, automations, and also use it as the back end or the database for startups. Now the platform is called Airtable and I absolutely swear by it. The best way to describe Airtable is that it is basically an Excel, but on crack and it lives in the cloud. And it used to really only be focused on the data side of things, but now it's creating all sorts of interfaces and you can do things like have advanced scripting, which means you can add code. And so it's becoming more and more powerful in terms of what you can actually do. So for example, I've built out a full CRM leverage Airtable for my sales team. And so if I'm gonna be stuck on an island and I need to earn a helicopter to come and fly and come get me, I can definitely trust Airtable is gonna give me some power to be able to generate some cash. Now, if I was on a deserted island, the next tool would be my rope, allowing me to build incredibly useful things like a raft maybe, or potentially shelter. And it's a tool that I use every single day in my business, again, called Make. Now, Make is a no-code automation tool and it allows us to automate certain tasks. For example, if someone filled out a form with their information, we could send that to our email marketing tool. But we could also use it for more complex scenarios. For example, bringing AI into one of our apps. But basically, it's about shooting information from one app to another and connecting those. And so, yeah, we've used Make, for example, to build that platform I told you about, Outer View, where we actually go and do a lot of the research leveraging Make scenarios where it actually taps into AI, goes, searches the web, brings back information, now, I can't even tell you the number of different things that I use this platform for, but ultimately it probably saves me about 15 hours of work every single day. By the way, all the tools that I'm mentioning here, you can find below inside the description of this video. And these three tools I just talked about are very powerful specifically together. However, if I'm trying to build complex software, I need to move to a no code tool that I'm gonna be talking about right now. Let me introduce you my friends to Bubble. This platform was used to create some of the biggest success stories in the no code space. It allows you to really build with a visual drag and drop interface, the more complex software tools that you might want to build. It's what you call a full stack builder, meaning that there's pretty much everything inside of one platform. Now, of course, because it is so complex, it also comes with a deeper learning curve, but you can pretty much become a full stack programmer once you've learned how to build things with Bubble. Now, if you're looking for an alternative to Bubble, I would probably say you should check out Flutterflow. That being said, Bubble is still quite a bit ahead of them. And very recently, they released something which made everyone very excited. You see, up until now, you could only really build web applications, but now you can build mobile apps that you can have inside of the iOS and Android store too. So if you check out their website, more than 3.3 million apps have been built leveraging this platform. $15 billion raised from Bubble users, people who have built with this platform, and teams are using this all over the place. So it really is a, a proven platform at this point. And if I needed to build complex software, then I would definitely turn to Bubble to build a very solid and scalable version of the product. Up until now, we've only 
only really been talking about building things out. That being said, what people love much more than functional is beautiful, right? So this next tool that I'm gonna be talking about is one of the tools that I would use to put a beautiful finishing touch on all of the projects that I built out. This, my friends, is Figma, a design tool that allows you to create awesome graphic designs, but it can also help you convert actual web designs and build those out from scratch. Think of this a little bit like Photoshop, but way easier to work with. In fact, this platform was one of the first ones where someone created a plugin that allowed you to use AI and you could just describe and it would build out an app for you. Personally, I use Figma for creating all sorts of things from all of the assets that I need for my social media marketing. I also use it for any designs for landing pages. And as you can see, as soon as you get to their website, they are quite focused on actual web design now. There's so many different plugins and tools that you can use to convert Figma files into fully built out products. For example, there's a no code tool called Bravo Studio that you can actually push your Figma designs into and it creates an app from them. I can bring you into my account here and I can show you some of the landing page designs that we've done. We'll also use it for all sorts of social media posts like carousels on LinkedIn. It really is a beautiful design tool that you can use and build beautiful things with. And I would definitely bring this tool to a deserted island because guess what if you just add a little bit of design to a nice app it makes it look a thousand times better and that can be the big difference between software that people actually use and software that people actually love now the next tool i'll be talking about is the one and only pure ai tool that i would bring with me i gave this a lot of thought it wasn't easy at all but ultimately it would be chat gpt my reasons for that is because you can do all sorts of things and also the speed of innovation at which they have released new features i obviously use chat GPT GPT for simple things like asking it questions, coming up with good ideas. But I've realized lately that it is a lot more powerful than that, especially with the latest version that's been released and the minis that have been released, and also the ability to build out full on GPTs that you can then integrate to your projects. I think the chat GPT has just a wide variety of things. So instead of choosing Claude 2 for the copywriting, because I think it sounds a little more human, then uh, perplexity for research. I would really just bucket it all under one. And of course, remember that I only have six tools that I can bring to this deserted island. By the way, ChatGPT would also be my Wilson. I would be able to chat with him all day long and just have a good time, you know what I'm saying? But my friends, if you gave me three more spots for tools I could bring to this island, there are three that I want to present to you. They are no-code AI tools that I absolutely love and they are getting better and better every day. The first one, my friends, is Reloom. It's an awesome platform to be able to help you speed up the process of building and designing websites. You can basically come in here, you can type in the name of your company and it's gonna create a full site map in just a couple of seconds. Let me show you what I mean. I could just click on generate just like that. It it creates all the sections of the home page. It also recommends other pages. Here I'm using the example of my company. We are no code. We basically teach people how to launch their startups with no code. And so here I'm gonna add a courses section. And then from here you can push it and export it either to Figma or to Webflow to actually have it build out this entire thing. Of course, this is a paid tool. It's very powerful AI that's gonna be super useful for you to integrate. And so I love this tool. Bonus tool number two allows you to have anything that you have in your head be created as a design, as a web app or a website. The name of the tool is Galileo. Once I'm here, select create a mobile app. So let's just say an analytics platform for LinkedIn creators, generate. And just like that, in a couple seconds, it has the profile, it has full post analytics, follower analytics, analytics and then the cool thing is that I can adapt any one of these screens and I can also extract the code and I can push it to Figma as well to design on top of them so I love this tool now this next tool is called relevance.ai and it is a fascinating platform maybe one of the best platforms that I've seen to create AI workforce and workflows and agents. It's a low code platform, meaning that you can do a lot without coding, but then sometimes you can have a little bit of code in it as well. So you basically train an AI to do specific tasks for you. Now, I won't go too, too deep into this tool because it's a bonus tool. But what's awesome is that it will get better and better because you can tap into existing LLMs like ChatGPT, for example. Now, all these no code and AI tools are absolutely amazing, but the most important thing is for you to focus in on the ones that are most valuable for you. You. And if you don't believe it's possible to build million dollar businesses leveraging no code and AI tools, then check out this video because I break down five success stories in the no code space that are going to completely blow your mind. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any awesome videos I release. Now, please send me a raft or a rescue team to get me off this island immediately.